Today, we send a strong and loud message that no one is above the law, not even the NRA, one of the most powerful organizations in this country. Just a few minutes ago, my office filed a lawsuit against the National Rifle Association to dissolve the organization in its entirety for years of self-dealing and illegal conduct that violate New York's Charities Law and undermine its own mission. The assets of such an organization are legally required to be used in a way that serves the interest of NRA membership and that advance the organization's charitable mission. However, for years, the NRA diverted millions and millions of dollars away from its charitable mission for personal use by senior leadership. These individuals in the NRA are charged with failing to manage the NRA's funds and failing to follow numerous state and federal laws, which contributed to the loss of more than $64 million in just three years. visited the Bahamas by private air charter at least eight times in an approximate three-year period with his family at a, at a, at a cost of more than $500,000 to the NRA. He traveled on multiple luxury hunting safaris in Africa at the expense of an NRA vendor. He spent millions of dollars on unwanted travel consultants for decades. He secured a post-employment contract for himself with the NRA without board approval, currently valued at more than $17 million. He allotted several million dollars annually in NRA funds for private security costs for himself and his family without sufficient oversight on their use. actions violated multiple laws, including the laws governing the NRA's charitable status, false reporting on annual filings with my office and the IRS. Wayne LaPierre, Woody Phillips, Joshua Powell, and John Frazier instituted a culture of self-dealing, mismanagement, and negligent oversight at the NRA that was illegal oppressive and fraudulent. It's clear that the NRA has been failing to carry out its stated mission for many, many years, and instead has operated as a breeding ground for greed, abuse, and brazen illegality. <laughs> 